Welcome back to the LEGO Harry Potter, your sponsor for 100% walkthrough on the PlayStation 3. In this part we're doing the free play mode of level 3 of year 1 in room. In this part we're going to pick Tom Riddle. Now, you don't have Tom Riddle just yet. In this level you need to have a dark character because you need to use a dark character on some dark um, magic objects. So... Yeah, Tom Riddle is the easiest one to get. Uh, I didn't show you guys because I didn't feel that it was necessary because I'm going to show you guys how to get it in the level that is about. You get it in the last level of year 2, the Basilisk, just at the end of the level. But it's the easiest dark character to get, so I just went and got it. He can. His special power is a one Kedavra, which is, which is the green one. And instead of Wingardium Leviosa, he has Crucio. Now, Crucio is a spell that you need to use on dark magic objects. It will basically make the dark magic object, object explode and then you will get the item that you get from it, basically. And that is why you need the dark character. And this is the easiest one to get, so I got it. And I've always found um, True Wizard in this level very, very easy to get. For some reason, I just think that it's very easy to get in this one. And I did something stupid there. I didn't get my stud. And I'm going to get it. There you can see the Ravenclaw Oscrest just looking at us. Now, not thinking about it, it's actually been a long time. Since I did the story mode for this, well, it's only been like two, three months, and that's all. But it still feels like I did. I started this walkthrough for like uh, for a year ago. I didn't, but it feels like it for some reason. It does. I don't know why it is like that. It just feels like it. Now you need to get all these Gryffindor flags up. And you will get the Gryffindor House Crest. Inside this chest is a character, a character, and that is Fred Quidditch. Now we got one out of three characters in a Jinx Broom. It's great. And yeah, there's no more characters good to get just down here. So we need to find them a little bit later. But we will find them though. That is the fifth of those Gryffindor flags. You have to remember to get them or else you will be quite pissed when you get to the end of the level, let me tell you that. That has happened many times with me before. Now I'll just go up here, do the same deed. Yep. Knock the bricks down, please. Like that. Now with these bricks we need to place them correctly so that we we are able to use the bricks as a stair kind of to get to the Ravenclaw house quest. So yeah, we're going to place it this way. I think I will be able to get it if I do it this way. I think so. Hopefully I will. Or I might just take the green one second. Place it up here. Like so. Let's place it, place it, place it. Okay, I'm not going to do it first. I'm going to place the blue one first. I don't know. I'm just a bit weird when I do these things because I wanted it to be correctly. And also when they show me like the picture of how this is how it's supposed to look like a stair. I always wanted to look like a stair so I used like a ton of time to do it. Even though I don't have to do it. You don't have to place like all the bricks down here to be able to walk up. And I missed it. That is perfect. Let's get it this time. Uh, like that. Now we got it. Now we just need to move these bricks and Slytherin player there, British player. Now we only need to get just a random for this one. Just place that green brick here. Okay, Musa to just jump. No biggie. It's not that important. Go away. Yeah. And here, when you're supposed to make like the book for Hermione, we're also making it right now. But you can see that there's some silver metal things that we need to use Reductor on. I'm just going to do that bookcase thingy first though. 
so I have that out of the way. Actually, guys, it's been really, really hot. This is I've been, I've, I've been out getting my tan on because I want a tan. But whatever, let's not talk about tanning. Let's get in here. Ah, uh, there's student imperial right here. So we saved that girl, and there's also some studs in here. Actually, a ton of studs, which is great. so you get quite a lot of studs. Um, yep, this is, um, you need to use in most pixies, but there's such a chance so many people. When you do that, that is won't and, and inside the chest is the Hufflepuff housecraft. Now, I got really mad when I saw that, and it wouldn't be, it hasn't happened before, but it happened this time. So, I was quite angry, but there's nothing to do about it. So, what I did is that right after, I'm, right after I was done recording this, I just went into this level again and, and um, the house crest. So, you won't see me get the house crest, but I will have the house crest by the next part. So, no worries. Bye. <laughs> Falling down. Looks like he's happy with what I did. Now, yeah, you want to get out Shanks and Crookshanks can go under here and get a character that is Harry Girl Disguise. Yay! Now we got two out of three characters for this level. Now I'm doing it right here again. I'm trying to place it correctly so it looks nice. It's not that stupid. But that's just how it is, I guess. Here's the 7th out of 7 Gryffindor house, uh, flag, so you get Gryffindor house crest for that. Which is great. So now we have two house crests. We only... well, we need to get... We should have got the Hufflepuff one as well, but actually we can't get it. So we have the second one in front of So get Tom Riddle and jump over here and destroy these. And then you can see this is a dark object, so you shoot this one on it, make it explode, and you will get the Slytherin house crest. If you look over here, there's a purple star there as well. So, a true wizard for that, which is really nice. So now I got true wizard with nearly 42,000 bolts. But it's like bolts? No, it's studs. I think it's like. 40,000 studs you have to get in this level to get True Wizard or something like that. It gets harder throughout the game to get True Wizard though. Just keep looking at like the corners because there's always like a lot of corners. It's typical. There always is. Now turn out and put them up. Randomly it doesn't matter where you put them. Always happens when I do this. I want to get these small case up, and then I just hold it off like the stairs, which is really annoying. I get really annoyed by that. Just stop doing that. And like that, and now we can use some garden also to make the stairs. Yeah, no need for cutscene for that. It's making a lot of noise right now. It's really freaky. There's just a lot of people walking around the house, which is always gonna get annoyed by a lot. There's another dark object. Out of this one, you will get the third character, which is Marcus Flint, who is a Quidditch player. I think he's like the captain of the Quidditch team, and I. Love Stone Chamber Secrets and maybe in I think so. Yeah, I think he is in Prison of Azkaban. He would be just as old as Oliver Wood and he's uh, Prison of Azkaban is his last year at school. So in there is a purple stud. But now we pretty much got everything that we that we can get. We only miss the Hufflepuff house dress and that's all. So yeah, that's everything. Now we'll go in this 
right, right in here and we will end the level just to see what we got. Red Quidditch is one character, Harry Girl Disguise, and then what is the characters that you got for a dinner. So we got three out of the house rest, but I will get top and top after this part, so no need to worry. True Wizard, we got that as well. And we got 59,000 studs, which is quite good. So we have over 1 million studs, which is very, very nice. We have a lot of cash to use. Student Pearl as well, that will us, I don't know, a few gold bricks. 48, 49, that's it. Next part.